I want to make a video response to a comment that I got on my channel a few days ago. Now, I decided to do a video response to this particular comment because it seems to encompass all the typical things that I hear feminists spewing out of their mouths. Feminism means equal rights for men and women. What a pile of shit. Okay, well then by that definition, I would be a feminist. But I certainly wouldn't call myself one because what feminists say they do versus what they actually do are two completely different things. When you say you're against feminism, the common reaction is, oh, then you must not want equality among the genders. Or, you must think women shouldn't have the same rights as men. Meanwhile, they actually have more rights than men. I'm not against what feminists claim to do. I'm against what they actually do. If feminists were truly about equality, then let me ask you, what have they done for men's rights? For instance, why do we still have a ladies' night? Why do men have to pay more for car insurance? And why does a man who has been falsely accused of rape and has been proven innocent still have his name tarnished? Do feminists plan to do anything about issues like these? No, because any discrimination against men is always somehow justified, and justified by a sexist reason. Also, if feminism is about true equality, then why call it feminism? Feminism implies feminine meaning female, as if to say only women are the victims of sexism. Feminism is more about maintaining women's status as the victims, so that they can have even more rights and privileges than they already have. You see, feminists want everyone to believe that men are up here, and women are down here, and in order for us to be truly equal, we need to elevate women up. But that's not the reality. This is. How can you say men are more discriminated against? Very easily, seeing as how we have so many laws and services that help and protect women and only women, but none that protect only men. Discrimination against men is legal. And one such form of discrimination is called affirmative action. And I already talked about that in my Equal Opportunity versus Equal Outcomes video. When most of the people in top leadership positions are men, So, if there are more men in leadership positions, why would that automatically imply discrimination? Maybe more men went for jobs like that and therefore would have a higher probability of getting said positions. It's like saying since there are more female hairdressers, that's discrimination against men. But we know it's not because it just so happens that more women than men would be interested in a job like that. Just like more men go for certain jobs, more women go for other types of jobs. So you will naturally see more women in certain areas and more men in others. And what if most people in leadership positions were female? Should we consider that to be discrimination against men? You also see more male trash collectors and janitors, but nobody says anything about this. It's fine that the employees for the jobs at the bottom of the ladder, so to speak, are mostly men, but not okay for the jobs at the top of the ladder to be mostly men. Even if they earned their positions and it had nothing to do with discrimination. When women are still largely responsible for child care, housework, and elder care. Yeah, and men are way more likely to be injured or die on the job. It's mostly men who are landscapers, exterminators, trash collectors, road workers, construction workers, rescue workers, still mill workers, truck drivers, taxi drivers, oil drillers, mechanics, coal miners, secret service agents, security guards, movers, plumbers, janitors, give roadside assistance, do the dangerous fishing, and so on. And you talk about child care, elder care, and housework? And by the way, define housework for me, will you? Does housework mean work you do for your house that you don't get paid for? Well, who usually cleans out the gutters, takes out the trash, cuts the grass, works with power tools to fix appliances? The man does. Does that not count as housework? Or is only cooking, cleaning, and laundry considered housework? Yeah, the stuff that machines do for you and you can do in the comfort of your own home while watching TV and not have to worry about injury or death. Men typically work longer hours so can't be home as much. Women are usually able to spend more time at home than a man. And hey, if you're going to be at home more often anyway, you might as well do some housework while you're there. Or is it too much to ask a woman to do anything? I'm sure men should just be the ones to do everything. Hell, it's still more common to see a man doing the cooking, cleaning, and laundry than it is to see a woman cleaning the gutters or cutting the grass. I mean, I for one would rather do the safe housework that you say mostly women do than do the dangerous jobs that mostly men do. When women still make 78 cents for every D dollar earned by a man. Oh, 78 cents this time, huh? 
Sometimes I hear 75 cents or 80 cents or 85 cents. I already explained this in great detail in my wage gap video, but I'll sum up what I said. Once again, you're making the assumption that this is because of discrimination. Not every man makes more than every woman for the same job. Yes, men may typically earn more, but it's not because they are men. It's because they usually work longer hours, take fewer days off, take more risks, work full time, etc. And what about the fact that the man is usually the one who has to support not only himself, but his wife and children too? So even though men may earn a little more, they also have to spend much more to support their families. You talk about this supposed wage gap, but completely miss the spending obligation gap. Besides, what about the discounts and freebies women get just for being women? Only women get to drink free at bars on certain nights. Women pay less for car insurance, etc. And on dates, who usually pays for the dinner and the movie? The man does. So a lot of the money which the man earned would go to women anyway. And when women still have to fear more than men of being raped, abused, and objectified. And men have way more to fear than women of being falsely accused of rape. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Heidi Jones and Crystal Gale Mangum, and all the women on this list. And by the way, men can be raped too, you know. And as far as the abuse is concerned, it's actually just as common for men to be abused by a woman. The only difference is nobody takes the abuse of a man seriously. The usual mentality is, I figure, well, he probably deserved it. In fact, if a man is being abused by a woman and he calls the police, he can still be arrested even though he was the victim of the domestic violence. That would never happen to a woman. And there's that word again, objectified. Please explain exactly what you mean by objectified. And then this person goes on to throw me a bone and say how men face some discrimination too, and we have a long way to go before we can truly be equal. And I completely agree with that. And feminism is a big part of this problem. 